Hello and welcome, I'm Aruba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Sarmatians. Look at all the horses. They're popping up everywhere. Very nice. I'm gonna gather these up into groups of, I don't know, somewhere between 5 and 10. And then we will spread them out on Revolt Risk provinces. Try to leave some of that Revolt Risk, which will help increase income. And also save manpower. Uh, wow. Nobles de demand recompensation. That sucks. Looks like we're going into debt again. And now we uh, have a little bit more inflation as well. It's rather annoying. And we do have more cores to do as well. Here's the two loans. We're losing money, actually, at this point. We've, we've trained a lot of horses. Let's put it that way. And more coming. Claimed our rival's province, so that's nice. Send a few men from there. Again, trying to balance out on all the Revolt Risk provinces so we get the defensive position if they rebel, and then also so that um, each army reduces Revolt Risk by 0.25%. So that's good. Had to lower morale slightly. Keep us in, in business, making money. We're not over the force limit or something, are we? No, we still have 30 force limit available. Just see more uh, more infrastructure to be able to support these armies. The Dacians are managing to hold off their rebels, but um, peasant rebels is all that they are. Now we are actually oh there goes the trees uh, the Trudy Trudy cheese tr I can't pronounce words today. The truce timer with the Romans is obviously over because they've just embargoed us. Um. Something worth considering. We never had to drop our embargo. Oh, right. That's what I was thinking, is now we're having the same issue with administrative power that we were having earlier with military power. Hmm. Oh, well. We could consider dropping a policy. But I like the inflation reduction. If there was anyone to attack right now, it would probably be the Han. Hmm. Attacked against the Romans? Yeah. How's the conversion coming? Slow but sure. Really low on stability right now. Finally we can core that final province. And again, we're suffering a fair bit of revolt risk due to overextension right now. Trade power abroad. We do have diplomats free. And we cannot quite annex you, but it's coming up soon, so we will improve relations with you. And also improve relations with Suebi. Finally about to get level 10 military tech. We've managed to play about 200 years. I don't really see this getting any cheaper.
<laughs> Protect against the Romans. Have 216 regiments. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, it's not going to happen. Protect our brethren in Altai. Well, if anything, I'm thinking what we do is we... If we were to attack anyone, maybe after these cores, we go attack the Han. Could probably do it before all the cores are finished. Probably don't have to wait for all of them. I love how our horsemen are very good at fighting off rebels. Small stacks, they don't really need much help. Even without full morale. Royal marriage from Chuban. Kuban will accept. Military access from someone? No. Not instigate a annexation while at war, but if we instigate the annexation of Kuban now, and then we go to war with the Han. So Non-accepted culture, intolerance. Damn, we're so intolerant. Why are we so intolerant? Why can't we just tolerate people? Damn it. We're so intolerant. We've lost another general. Okay. I'm th I'm leaning toward saving up some of these military points, enacting that policy, and then hiring a bunch of generals. Although our army tradition is really crap right now. And we have loans to pay off again. Some sort of major war has just broke out. I guess it's not that big, but... Hey Lombardi! You want to become a vassal? No? Okay. Still, I feel like we should probably go over here and release these guys. Or maybe not. Maybe we should just just attack. You know, just conquer the land ourselves. That's what our CB is good for, after all. It'll be a lot harder to pay off that debt with our income being quite a bit lower. So we're gonna have to do this for a bit. Pay off these loans. So I don't feel like, I mean, the Romans could have attacked us at any point. The coalition's still very strong. No one's decided that it's time to go and attack us. I am a little bit worried that if I lower my morale too much, they might decide that's the time. Once again, Parthia has decided it's time to embargo us. For crying out loud, you gotta be kidding me. Pay off a debt, pay off some loan, then we just immediately get another event to get more loans. These guys are really easy to convert. So what do you think? 1% trade efficiency? Or culture conversion and stuff? I mean, right now, a very small portion of income is coming from trade. No, I, I'm, I'm still feeling like culture conversion is just more valuable. Just convert the things. I think that makes more money for us anyway, compared to the um, increased trade efficiency, you know? Even if it's just one or two provinces. Saxony has joined the coalition again. <laughs> nice. You gonna be okay with that low morale? 0.59? Probably not. Hmm. 
Hmm. A level one commandant. Well, we do need another guy. We'll take the discipline. That actually brings our discipline up to 100%. Not bad. Maybe we can get by with a little bit less morale now. I wonder if all the the rebels actually have to deal with low discipline. I imagine they do. It's definitely high time to uh, annex you. Really no reason not to. That's the other thing we could have spent all these Diplo points on, but it's only 135. Not very expensive. These guys, the Suebi, we're not going to annex anytime soon, I think. They're too distant. I don't like that they're behind all these little guys that are part of the coalition. Sides. Getting this stuff done would be nice. This is all going to be... Unfortunately, actually, it's going to be not accepted cultures, but... No nationalism. So this should, even, even with the non-accepted culture, it should still be pretty good income. Far more income than we're making from vassals. They, they nerfed vassal income to the ground. Like, you make almost nothing from your vassals now. Vassal income, 14.9% of their tax income. Not their production, not their trade, just their 14.9% of their tax income. It's nothing. It's so low. Oh, God. Fine. Execute the bailiff. Whatever that means. Our ruler's not that great. Khan Bayuka the third, two two four. I think it's funny how we've had so many Bayukas. I know we had a, a period where we had a ruler who wasn't Bayuka. Integration's a slow process. We gained some prestige. It's all fine. We're paying loans. We still have two. That fight's way closer than I would have expected. We lost. Oh well, it wasn't a war. They didn't stack wipe us. <laughs> so that's good. You'll probably have time just to march your way all back all the way back. Back for more. Round two. So much revolt risk. Are you going to do it again? Of course you are. Still, we're barely losing any men, and we got full manpower, so it doesn't matter. It's just because I'm trying to make money. And actually, you know what? It's totally fine to do that. We can lose as many fights as we want. We'll convert spare manpower at no reinforcement costs into more men, and we'll just make more money this way. And we just lost our general, though, so I guess there is that. There's always that to consider. Diplo power or prestige. I guess we'll go with the prestige. Doing pretty good on military now. Cavalry shock plus 0 0.05. That sounds nice. Somebody's moved their capital. And out of nowhere, someone decides to join a coalition against us. 
What, what did we ever do to you? All right, this province seems pretty stable. So let's move off and protect some of these other ones where we can get a little bit more income out of them. Converted Besabaria. Converted most of the Dacian lands. Cored all, almost all of it. Still have that nationalism nonsense. I want humanism. This is probably the longest extended period of peace that we've ever had. Do we have a, a truce timer? 268, yeah. So good, so we can we can go another six years of, of peace without actually having those rebels pop up. And then we'll just declare one Dacia again. We're still technically rivals with Dacia. Which seems strange. Seems strange that it would let us still have them as a, as a, 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 a rival. What do you think? Is it time to time to switch over? Let's get rid of the defensive policy. Let's um, add on the land, the leadership policy. Now we could always do diplomatic policy. Hire a general or two. Abacus. Abracadabra. Show him your boss. Who's boss? Alright. Protect. Take all tie. Yeah, I mean, I want to attack the Han. I really do. It's just, we still have so much revolt risk over here. I just don't feel like moving away from this is a good idea. I think I'm going to stay here instead. How, much, how many troops do the Romans have now? 251. Awesome. Probably have, yeah, 1.5, or 0.15 million ducats now. Their income is still three to four times as much as ours. They have double our troops, but we have double their manpower. Look at that, they're actually over, over the force limit. Well, it makes sense. If I were them and I had 1. 0.15 million ducats, I'd probably just be... Completely over the force limit as far as I could. I mean, why not? Spend all my income on it. It would be pretty reasonable, actually. Long term investment or 1100 ducats. Dipple power is appealing. Trade efficiency plus 15%. Right now we're making 11. Ducats a month off of trade. So let's just say that at the very least we'd make like an extra 1.5 ducats a month. That'd be 18 ducats a year for 10 years. That's 180 ducats. That's nothing. But the diplo power. But the diplo power, man. I'll take the diplo power. Is the Dipple Power really worth it? No. It's 1,100 ducats. 1,100 ducats with no inflation. We need the ducats. Oh, hey! <laughs> As if on cue, uh, the Roman Empire have honored their alliance with Herman Dury. They have declared the Coalition War. So it's Herman Dury and the Romans. Really. So you have decided that it's time to lead a coalition war against us. Well, clearly, we're going to raise maintenance. It's a good thing we got all that money. And, uh, yeah. 
Okay, well, here we go. Round three. Fight. I'm going to take a break here. But I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. These these infantry, I think, will just disband, actually. i got to pay for them. They suck. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. In the next video, we'll decide if we have to Scorched Earth or not. I will see you again soon. See you in a bit.